Hello everybody, it's time to look inside of the 360. Now this video is going to be kind of backwards because I've done a reset on the bin and typically if you reset the bin you're going to have time with the new bedding underneath the established ones but I didn't have time to do that. So this was on the top and I just wanted to finish converting all of the cardboard and any food scraps into vermicompost and if it's coming through on the camera you can see that there are tons and tons of worms in here no. well it doesn't matter because the camera will show it differently than what you can th see through the screen so I fluffed that up a little bit and I'll show you what I put on the very bottom which is what you do a few months before oops oh yeah I have to zoom in to see that um, before you want to use it this is all just shredded cardboard Wait. and paper and then over time moisture will come down here inoculate all of this and the worms will just go nuts over it nuts crazy they'll have a party yeah so at the base you can see already that the worms why do they go to the bottom I don't know this is their these are the bad worms the low rent worms they stay down in the basement and they don't get charged as much <laughs> so we'll put the bottom We'll call this the, the fresh bedding that we'll need to get inoculated. And this is the best... This is the... Best housing. No, this is the tray that we are waiting for it to finish. Oh. And this is our feeding tray, which I have already fed it. And what I did was, this was about a week ago, or maybe not pieces of watermelon and I didn't well there's a lot of worms yes yeah, I, so, I need to zoom in so and under each piece of watermelon you've got can you see that excuse me can you see that yep I need to zoom in Here. under each piece of watermelon We've got that worm ball escaped me. But, oh boy. Over here, very, very moist. So the watermelons, they do add moisture, and these worms definitely enjoy their watermelon. So we'll put it back in doesn't have to go exactly where I had them so we know they came up from the <clears throat> the tray underneath it to come up and eat that and we do have another piece of watermelon in here I know that I have several thousand worms in here they have eaten an entire watermelon before I thought we did a whole harvest of this bin yeah, we harvested everything, so that's why it was kind of a reset. I'll put this one upside down. How did you reset it? Actually, I can't put it upside down, so I'm going to... Wait, what if you make it like a home? Like, turn it like a hamster's den, like you well, had it, and I'm, then just cover it. I'm just going like this. And then, <laughs> we'll see what these guys do. I hope that the lid can go down. I should have broke this first... Well, it's not going to break. We'll put the rest of our coffee and eggshell mixture on top. And then I have to make more. Make a new one. And then we can sprinkle some of the spent oats that seem to be going on and on and on. I don't think they're getting spent. I think they're rejuvenating well, themselves. No, 
these are definitely expired. No, I mean like, because you know how you sprinkle them on every time? Yeah. And when you spend money, you normally lose it. But I don't think you're losing it. I think it keeps on just refilling itself. Oh, okay. Well, one day there won't be anything left in there. And then that's everything that'll be. Then we'll have to shred the cardboard and feed the cardboard to the worms. Everyone, thanks for watching. Thank you for keeping uh, involved in my journey with the 360. And everyone have a good day. Bye for now.